Well, a week has gone by. I remember I sat out here on the fire escape last week and I was all miserable. Um, and I think one of the best things about me is that I come back from uh, depression and misery very quickly. It's probably my biggest talent, I will say. Uh, anyway, so this week though, I've just felt I've had such a great week. I felt like my horizons are kind of broadening. I'm meeting, I mean, I, I'm gonna tell you who I've met this week and it's just been phenomenal. So I'm just so grateful. I'm grateful to my friends. I'm grateful for, you know, whatever it is in me that makes me so resilient. Um, anyway, so let me just, uh, some of the things I'm not, I haven't written about, but I wanna talk about. Uh, so last Friday, um, I had this great day with my friend Joe. Uh, we went to see some galleries. There's, and for any of you in New York, oh my God, there's this show at Pace by this uh, artist called Glenn Kano. It's fabulous. And he's got this immersive thing in LA that I've, I did write about in the blog because I'm gonna be going out to LA at the end of this month. I want like all kinds of insights, tips, recommendations, whatever. But he's got a, a show out there that's getting all kinds of raves. Uh, and then we also saw one other show that I think is probably one of the best in, um, in, in Chelsea is by Ernesto Nato. It's a Tanya Bonadecca. And it's, um, it's like a multi-sensory experience. Um, it's just, I mean, my God, it's so awesome. Make sure you go upstairs, because I think the upstairs is actually even more magnificent than the downstairs. And then, so on that Friday, Joe and I went to Pastis, which is one of my favorite places. Um, and we were having lunch, uh, and this couple came and sat next to us, sort of an older couple, and we started talking, and um, then, he introduces, oh, she introduced him, and he's Adrian Lin, who I had no idea who that was, but he's apparently quite a famous film director. He did um, Flashdance and Nine and a Half Weeks and Fatal Attraction. Um, and um, anyway, so we had this great conversation, and then we had a mutual friend in common who I'd not been in touch with in a long time. And, um, you know, after I'd met uh, Adrian and his wife, Samantha, I contacted my friend in L.A. So I'm hoping maybe I'll get to see him when I'm out there as well. So I'm really grateful about that. And then on Sunday, I went for this really long walk with my friend Anne. We walked all the way around the, the Hudson Park Greenway. Um, and we ended up at the South Street Seaport and we had brunch at uh, the Fulton, which is one of my favorites. But we also realized that uh, the Tin Building, which is this huge uh, complex restaurants and market that John George is doing is gonna open next week. So I'm gonna actually go down there, hopefully if it does happen next Wednesday and get a look at this. It's gonna like employ 700 people. I also found out that um, John George now has a, like a minority stake in his business by the Hudson Yards. Uh, no, um, no, 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 got that wrong. Howard Hughes Corporation. Um, but that scene down there is so, so amazing. You've got to check it out. Um, one of the other things I am writing about that came, I mean, I realized how fabulous it was on Sunday was that I walked over 20,000 steps, which is like seven miles. And I, the whole, all the credit for that goes to this Dr. David Medow at the El Paso Physical Therapy, whatever. He's got these exercises on YouTube that I've been doing since January. It's like 20 minutes a day, seven different exercises. Like, mind-blowingly different. I still have a limp. You know, people are like, oh, what's up with you? But I can walk uh, seven miles. That's a lot. I can do that routinely. Uh, and then uh, this week also, you know, I've been raving about Le Gertin. I love that, that new Daniel Balut spot. And um, I love the desserts there. And when I was there on Tuesday, the dessert, the executive pastry chef came out and said hi to us. And that was just like so fabulous. Um, so that's it. And
anyway, I'm going to be um, going to LA at the end of this month. All my LA peeps, please get in touch with me. Let me know who's around. Only there for four days, so uh, it'll be a short one. Um, and then for my birthday, I've decided I'm gonna be in, in Bozeman, Montana, at this really cool hotel. So anyway, things are looking up, you know? Every now and again, I'm still like, oh my God, I wanna go to Faroe Islands. But you know, that's, that's foolish to even concern myself about that. I can't do anything about it. And that's it, my loves. That's it. Ciao, ciao.